Hi everybody, welcome to the show. My name is Bethany. Today we're going to be working on a layout based on all of our vacation photos. We all have tons of them. They're stacked everywhere in our scrapbook rooms or on our tables. Uh, this particular spot is a favorite destination for my family. It's called Walden Pond in Concord, Massachusetts. I've been so many times that every single time I go, I just want to capture the serene quality of the place. This layout design really incorporates multiple photos in unique ways. We have a nice booklet that I did over here. I also clipped some extra photos over here. And it's a really cool way to add um, a unique touch. Let's get started. First step today is picking our background cardstock. I have this nice chocolate brown color. I'm going to layer on a photo and some vellum. Let's do the photo first. I just want to add some dimension to this layout, add some color to this side of the page as well. And there we go. Press down. And then what we want to do is I printed journaling from the location of where we visit, and I'm going to adhere that onto this page. Since this is vellum, I don't want the adhesive to show through. So what I'm going to do, knowing ahead that I'm going to be placing an accent on this side of the page, I'm just gonna place some adhesive underneath the vellum in a couple of strategic spots. There we go. The next thing I wanna do is make my accent for this side of the page. I decided to use these fall leaves photographics. They're very realistic. And if you're concerned about acid-free, linen-free papers and products, which a lot of scrapbookers are, these are a great alternative to using actual leaves that you picked from your location. So what I wanted to do is decoupage these leaves onto a piece of green cardstock. I went ahead and cut out this cardstock, rounded the corners, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this type of glue, it's called Perfect Paper Adhesive. It has a very low water content, so it doesn't warp your paper as much as a school type glue. So just paint that on with a foam brush. And all you're going to do is smooth it out on top of your accent. If anything hangs off the edge, we can cut that off later. You might have to really burnish this. Usually sometimes I like to turn mine over and really rub hard just to get that glue nice and stuck down. And after that has actually dried, you can go ahead and put on another layer to seal the edges. This goes on um, kind of a weird blue color. Don't worry, it'll dry completely. Here is one that's already dry. You'll see that it dried nice and clear. What we're going to do now is actually wrap some vellum around this accent. So I have a little piece of cut vellum, the same color as the vellum I had on my, for my journaling. And I'm going to just wrap this around, crease it, so we're just going to rip down that edge. I'm going to just wrap that side around too. I didn't want the vellum to overlap, so I'm going to rip that side as well. There you go, your wrapped accent piece. Now here is one that I've completed. So I could avoid using adhesive that would show through. I decided to go ahead and stitch on the vellum ends with just some embroidery floss. And I also added one of these really cute little Davis Designs chipboard letters. This color didn't necessarily go with the layout I created, so I went ahead and painted it with some acrylic paint in dark green. I also went ahead and tied my letter on with some jute, and I added some tags that actually say the words Walden Pond. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this directly onto my first page. And you'll notice that I am putting this on top of the adhesive that I adhered with the vellum. Just press that down nicely. There you go. To complete this accent, I really wanted to make a photo booklet. I have so many pictures from different occasions. I didn't necessarily want to make layouts for each different trip that we went on. So I decided to pull pictures from my stash and I picked these out, rounded the corners, and I actually made a little booklet. I added a nice piece of jute, also a piece of another picture that I took that was a close-up of leaves. I just wanted to add a nice accent color to the layout. So all this does is slip in behind the letter and it's a nice holder for your photo. Don't worry if it, you know, make sure that when you do tie the letter on that it's snug enough that your pictures will stay in there nicely. 
Now, I had so many pictures, I wanted to do a second page. So what I did on this, I used the same brown cardstock, and I also chose this green crackled pattern paper. I added a journaling block, rounded the corners. This is the same cardstock that I made my base accent piece from. I ripped the top, I added the close-up picture of the fall leaves, just for some added color. And then I also wanted to make a nice base for my focal point photo. This cardstock is really cool. It's corrugated on this side. And a great way to make a really cool distressed look is to turn it over and take the backing of the paper and actually tear it off. The corrugated part really shows through. To distress it even more, you can use this dye ink. And all I'm going to do is rub it liberally all over that back piece. And you'll notice, you know, some pieces pick up more color than others, and that's fine. So now, I'm just going to show you my finished distressed piece. This is going to be my mat for my main focal photo, which I also rounded the corners on. There you go. Me and my little baby, Walden Pond. My sister took this photo and I was so happy. It's a great time of day, people swimming in the water, so peaceful. I just love it there. So what we're going to do, just put adhesive on, press that down, and simply add it to your page. And then here is a layout that with the focal point, I went ahead and added some jute just like on my previous page. I added another piece of that close up of the fall leaves with a little clip just to add some color bring in the beautiful fall colors of the trees in the background. I also tore a corner to add some journaling of when all of these pictures took place. I didn't want them all to, you know, meld into one giant drip. <laughs> and I also layered it with some vellum from behind. For my final touch is simply to add two pictures from other trips we've taken with a paper clip. It's so easy. It's truly scrapbooking. You're using scraps from all of your stash. And there you go, your final second piece. And you have a whole two-page layout. It's a great way to incorporate multiple photos, dust off all of your, your photo boxes with all of those pictures you have taken, and get them onto your pages. Get them out from underneath your bed and onto your pages so you really can remember your memories. I hope you enjoy making this page. See you next time. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips.